because when you guys look at this, do you guys know what this graph looks like? Anybody? Anybody? No? Who? OK, good. So we're in the same page. It's good. We don't know what the graph looks like. So let's say we have an equation. Now, first of all, if you guys have followed what I've done algebraically, we know that it's going to be, there's going to be a discontinuity at x equals 0, right? or that's where it's going to be continuous. And then we just set both of our equations equal to each other. Now in this set, and then you plug it in when at x equals 0. But there's a problem with plugging x equals 0 right now. Because then you have 0 in the denominator. We don't like 0 in the denominator, right? It's undefined. So then we think back, we're like, all right, so what was that one lesson? He talked about discontinuities. We had x's in the denominator. That became, that became a discontinuity as like a vertical asymptote or a whole. And then when he talked about classifying, the best way to classify discontinuities was to, starts with an s, rhymes with pimplify, simplify. All right. So if we simplify this, watch what happens. Factor out the x. Now, the x's divide out. Now, I'm not asking you what the discontinuity is, but do we know what type of discontinuity now occurs at x equals 0? It's a removable whole, right? It's not an asymptote. It's not a jump. It's a removable whole. So therefore, now can we plug, so therefore we have x minus 1 is equal to k. Now can we plug 0 in for x to solve for k? Yes. And it's pretty easy to mathematically solve for k right now, isn't it? So we can say k is equal to negative 1. All right. And the other thing I'd like you guys to do is you guys think about this. If you were to look at this equation, this equation, y equals x squared minus x over x, for those of you that need a little bit more deeper understanding of this, plug that into your graphing calculator. Plug that into your graphing calculator or your phone it's going to be exactly the same as y equals x minus 1. That's what that, this is the same thing as that. What is the difference between this and this? That has a hole at x equals 0. Now, is your graphing calculator or Desmos going to show you a hole? No, but mathematically, you know that that contains a hole, right? But it looks just like this. It just looks like a line. So many of you would look at that equation and be like, oh, I don't know what that looks like. Yeah, you do. It's just a line with a hole. That's all it is. Okay? So again, when things look overcomplicated, like you don't know how to do it, think about simplifying rational expressions and think about using factoring to help you simplify. Because again, guys, with a little bit of factoring, we made this problem relatively simple. Right? It looked a lot more difficult than the other ones, but it really wasn't that bad. It was actually way easier than that one, in my opinion. But on the, on the front, it looked a lot more difficult.